Well, I have caused a sensation. Haven't you? I popped into Kmart and I bought a map. Tell you what, I was on the. This is how. This is the genesis of my thought process. Okay, it's giving chaotic Chrissy it's, already. I've, I've never been more chaotic than I am today. <laughs> a, I'm excited to be here and being myself. B, I was getting onto the plane. And I was in the front door and then I saw a woman walking across the tarmac at Coolangatta Airport in the snazziest little matching tracksuit. And you shouted out at her? No, I didn't. Oh. I went, I said to Peg, I reckon I'm going to get myself a matching tracksuit. I'm ready for the monochrome. So I headed off to Kmart yesterday and I bought a big, slouchy, dark brown tracksuit top and bottom i'm here for it it's a matching brown set check out our instagram story at the chrissy swan show i got change for 50 bucks for this outfit (laughs) and you said to me as soon as i walked in cute fit and i thought that's it you're my boyfriend (laughs) and that this is who i dress for now but you described it as something else i feel like the poo emoji i disagree i think you look like the chocolate emoji but even the shape of me is like a poo do you know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm, right. th- my head and then my shoulders go out and I just no, feel then like you, a No, then you poo. come back in. No, no, no. All right. We're going to put a photo <laughs> or a video of me in my matching brown tracksuit. Change for 50 from Kmart. Don't you worry about that. Very good. Cosy lives. And I didn't click and collect either. I went in in person well, and did this. Because you can't click and collect. That's why. Well, I just, I'm just i just mad for it. And I want to know, are you mad for it? Am I the poo emoji? Hey, come Or am up I the chocolate emoji? After three o'clock, we'll also ask Joel Creasy that very question. Yes. Because he's joining us live in studio. And we'll be giving someone else the chance to see Chris Stapleton live in Nashville. The Chrissy Swan Show. And you and I have been reunited after two long weeks apart, Jack. We fully didn't properly speak over the fortnight. Hence the birth of the new segment, SMTD. SMTD. We have so much to discuss with Chrissy and Jack. Now, SMTD is uh, something that me and my sister use, something that you and I use. Yeah. I've been told by many radio people that it would never make a good segment, but because no one cares about us, we're doing our own thing. <laughs> it also just would make a good segment. Well, I tried to get it when we were working together on Breakfast Radio. I'm like, I want a segment called SMTD, so much to discuss. And whoever it was at the time making the decision said, ah, it's too much of a mouthful. No one knows what it is. And I said, yeah, but yes, they if do. I say so much to discuss, then they know. Guess, anyway. Guess what? They now know. We are living the dream. So much to discuss. I'm going to go first. Please. Because so much can happen in two weeks. Yes, and we talk about everything, like nonsense gossip articles, mundane things happening in our lives. B- matching tracksuits. Correct. <laughs> Lizzo. Lizzo, in the break, quit. Right. So she said on Instagram, I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. All I want is to make music and make people happy, blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, I didn't sign up for this shit. I quit. Well. What was your initial thought? Well, I, do you know what my initial thought was? Girl, you're doing this because you care too much about what people think. Yeah, okay. And when, when you're as amazing as Lizzo, you've just got to focus on the positives. Think of all the joy that you give. Don't let the bastards win. Right? Then and if th- I was her friend, I, wouldn't, like, I would say to her, hey, delete all social media apps, take three months off in Bora Bora, talk to nobody. Take just 12 live. months off. Take 12 months off and then come back. Correct. But then it all turned out to be... And then two days later she gets on she goes, so what I was saying by I quit is I quit caring about what other people think. And I just thought, no. Yeah. No, you should have thought about that publicity angle before you posted this. I agree. I understand she is an emotional and creative person and she does bear the brunt of a lot of abuse. But equally... She is so beloved. Mm. Focus on the positives. Your turn. Okay, mine is actually... My first one is about you. The first weekend of our holidays, I went to the comedy festival, saw Lawrence Mooney's show, was having some drinks after, and Jim Owen came up to me. Oh, yes. And he, we were just chatting. He's like, I've just got to say... I was about to try and do his accent. I'm not going to. No, don't. Uh, I don't think I that's just, politically correct not. anymore. You can't do it. <laughs> I've just got to say, I love Chrissy Swan so much. Please pass it on to her. She's always been my favourite person to speak with and do interviews with over the years, and I just really love her. So I just wanted to make... Oh I wrote it God. down to yeah. make sure I tell you because I was four martinis deep and I was like, I'll forget. Isn't that funny? Because I saw Jamoan in the wild with his family oh, not really? that long ago. Yeah. 
And I th- this is an interesting, like, uh, expression of you never know. Yeah. I saw him and I'm such a big fan of him. Right. He was so important in the 80s and 90s in the Australian comedy. And I thought... Should I say hello or will he even know oh, who yeah, I, I am? That. And so I Thought. just I just left him. I thought I'm not going to have to, you know, introduce myself to him and blah, blah, blah. And he would have known who I was no, all along. Next time you must say hello. Oh, I would love that. Thank you for that. That's a that's a beautiful bit of feedback. Um, Back to you. SMTD, so much to discuss. Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla <gasps> Fisher announcing that they have been separated for ages. I love this kind of stealthy divorce. And then bang, surprise. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. But I initially, I'm going to be honest, my initial thought was, no, that's not true. She's just left him after all of the Rebel Wilson stuff. No. You, you think it had already happened? No, I think it had already happened. Do you think she'd had caught wind about the Rebel stuff coming out? Like, do you think that helped her decision along at all? No, they did it last year. But that's what they're saying. Oh, no, that's true. That's legit, okay. Absolutely, that is true. And I think maybe... Again, publicists have gone in and gone, now is a good time to announce it. Yeah, drop the bomb. Because, you know, he's, he's in done all anyway. sorts of rebel. Do you want to, I mean, SMTD, that Rebel Wilson book, are you going to read it? Absolutely not. There's nothing I could care less about. She doesn't come across very well. No. Also, what have you done, Bridesmaids? Well done. <laughs> you play the you same character. Savage. Every movie. <laughs> okay. You so much. Go. SMTD, final thing. Do you remember Julia Fox? Yes! Kanye's ex and famous for this grab. I was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Uncle Jam. Uncle Jam! Uncle Jam! Yes! We loved that. Well, there's a new sort of phrase or word that's come out of her mouth in a funny way. She was asked about a particular dessert at a restaurant in French yeah. and listen to the way she says pavlova. Okay. My favourite is a dessert called the pavlova and it's like... <laughs> the pavlova! <laughs> Speaking the of pavlova. her, did you see the outfit that she debuted? No. Oh, my God. It had, like, um, photo real pictures of Boozies and Bush. Oh, no, I must see that. Yeah, you must. Okay. I'll find it in the song for you. That was SMTD. Let's do it again tomorrow. Oh, my God. I have a stack. The Chrissy Swan Show. One pass is now available at Priceline Pharmacy and Sister Club members are getting exclusive access to boosted perks. Start your free 30-day trial today. Learn more at priceline.com.au slash one pass. TUC's eligibility and exclusions apply. The Chrissy Swan Show. It's three sleeps until we get Taylor's new album. Hey, is the song that's going around with her and Post Malone that's on the album, do you know if that's real or is it AI? Tom, have you heard that? I haven't heard that. Can you ask Scott Baker Smith, our music guru, whether that's... Because it's all over TikTok and it sounds really good, right? Taylor and Post Malone on this new album. But then I'm like, is it just AI? Surely that's not been leaked yet. And also, she just wouldn't do that. No. You know, we are waiting. There is a countdown on my phone. And in the meantime, we can satisfy ourselves by talking about our queen and saviour, Taylor Swift. Calvin Harris is uh, one of her longest relationships. I think they went out together for six years. No. No, no, I think... No, Joe was six years. I think Calvin and Taylor were like six months. Okay. Let's let's quickly check. it was longer than that. But anyway, he's now moved on, as has she, and he's uh, married a woman called Vic Hope. And she has confessed. 15 months, one year. 15 you months, yeah, a year and a bit. Um, she has convi- uh, confessed that as soon as he's out of the house, she turns on our queen and saviour, Taylor Swift, and has a little fix. Good on her. Good on her. Uh, n- not mentioned in the article Yeah. is what songs she goes to. Damn it. And I really want to know. I wonder if, you know, she listens to Getaway Car. Which is reportedly about her husband. Yeah. There's a lot of conspiracy theories about that song and the date of April 29, and I do believe that Taylor did the dirty on Calvin Harris. Right. Because that's, is it High Infidelity? High Infidelity. That's the song she references that day. Yes. I mean, it's, you could spend every day of the next 20 years Looking into the conspiracy theories. Around that date, right? Around that date and many, many other things. But I want to talk about your secret pleasures that you only indulge in when you are on your own Mm. because they exist. For Vic Hope, it's a a sneaky little listen to, I'm going to say, 
1989. I'm with you, Swanee, because I don't think she's listening to folklore evermore. I think it's a little bit more mainstream. I feel Big like hits. also she could go 1989 or um, Midnight's. I don't know. Yeah, I'm okay. just feeling a Midnight's vibe off her. For me, if I ever get the house to myself, which, as you know, is frustratingly rare. <laughs> like once a decade. If it ever happens <laughs> yeah. to plan and someone's not at home with COVID or whatever they turn on, I like to order a laksa with extra prawns and eat it on the couch on my boob shelf. Yeah, right. Which I prepare with a tea towel because that bowl is hot, mm. right? And I, I rest it. I, I, I lean back on the thing. And I, I, it doesn't matter what's on Netflix. It doesn't matter. No, what matters is the boob shelf. And what the, matters the is food. the boob shelf and that there is some sort of protection between the boozies. Yeah. And... The hot bowl. We don't want burned nipples. <laughs> no. And the reason I love that is because nobody likes a luxer at my house. Ah, uh, okay. And my son is deathly allergic, as in will die. Oh, of course. About prawns. So I go ham on the prawns and ham on the chili. Yeah, good. And that is my idea of happiness. I love that. That's you so share a house with a magic man called yes, Chris. Chris Contos. What and- do you do? There's one thing I can't do when he is there. So when he is away, mm. I will closet listen to Pink. <laughs> really? It's like, see ya. I'm Have coming fun. clean. Have fun on your work trip. He hates her. So if I ever wanted to, you know, I don't even want to listen to her. But because I can't, yes. when he's away, I will. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. We're talking about the sneakity deakity things you get up to when you finally get a moment alone. That sounds a lot ruder than it is. I have a luxa that I slurp off my boob shelf on the couch. Yeah. And I feel like I can't do that when everyone's at home, mainly because uh, prawns will kill my son. <laughs> it's very kind of you to not put him in that position, Thank Swanee. you very much. When your housemate's <laughs> gone, Jack, you... Closet listen to Pink. Only sometimes. What is the first song that you would go to uh, of Pink's? Oh, this is so grim. I love it so much. I just love it. <laughs> I love old Pink. I love old Pink. Like, just like a pill, like that era. Like, when she's a bit grungier. It's not like, I'm never gonna not dance. None of that. No, none of the new stuff. No, you like, like the old uh, stuff. Kylie, what do you get up to when you finally get a minute alone? Because, of course, Calvin Harris's wife, when she waves him goodbye down the garden path, she comes straight in and puts on Taylor Swift because, of course, they had a relationship. Kylie, what's your secret? Um, my little secret is as soon as I get home and I know when no one's there, I just totally get naked, commando, everything off, <laughs> and just sort of walk around and make a cup of tea or... I just think it's brilliant. What, so you don't have a dressing gown on or anything? You're just completely naked? Completely naked. I do have a sarong handy in case the doorbell goes, but (laughs) curtains all pulled and just walk around naked. I mean, is there a greater moment of the day when you take your bra off? Uh, Oh, nothing like it. There is nothing like it. Giving it a quick spin as well. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> you're in the draw for Nova's first class and 50K, Kylie. Sarah, what do you do when your partner's away in your home alone? Uh, I tend to renovate, rip up carpet, paint rooms. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he's not there to tell me I can't do it. It sounds like the sort of thing where an, an extra pair of hands would be handy, though, Sarah. Yeah, I know, but I just do it by myself. And, yeah, when he comes home, it's already done. Or half done, so he can't tell me I can't continue with it because it's halfway through. I love that, but you're opting to do it by yourself because, yes, yep. there's an extra pair of hands but also an extra set of opinions that you don't <laughs> care for. Right. Love it, Sarah. That's you right. are in the draw for first class and 50K. Julie, what do you do? Hi. This is the best two hours of my day, just saying, Jack, and you. Love oh, you. Bless um, you, Jules. I just basically channel surf all the crappy reality TV shows that he cannot stand. And I sit, if he's out, he tends to have his little dinners and he's off to Germany. He said, I've got two weeks to myself to do that. Oh my and gosh. I'll just snack on whatever. I don't have to cook three meat and veg. It's just the things I love That's to eat. That's such an old school thing. My dad is still like that. Like three he wants meat his, and veg. His three veg and yeah. meat. Yeah, he could uh, learn to make it himself, just <laughs> FYI. Yeah. Julie, just before you go, I just yeah. I can see you so clearly in your house <laughs> watching <laughs> shitty television. Yeah. What is on your perfect snacky dinner plate? Like are you a oh, cheese and God, crackers? I could just do omelette. I can do corn thins with 
butter and Vegemite. Oh. I can do like um, you know celery full of beautiful crunchy peanut butter. Oh um, God, this is heaven! <laughs> I'd go hungry. You know stuff. Oh God! I'll be thinking of you when when uh, those two weeks when he's in Germany. How heavenly! Really quickly, let's finish with Brian in Brisbane. Brian, good day, good afternoon. Hello, oh, Brian. Good, uh... Let's uh, let's just do a little uh, a little um, set up here. You're at home in your house. Your wife. You just heard the 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 Kia or the Serato just <laughs> reverse out of the driveway. And what are you doing next? Straight out back to the swimming pool. I like to swim in the backyard naked. She's in fear the neighbours are going to be looking over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> What's your wife's name, Brian? Uh, Vicky. So when Vicky comes home and she sees that you are looking fresh but there's no wet bathers around, are you in trouble, Brian? <laughs> Yeah, she, if she's bringing friends home, I am. <laughs> <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Let's go click it. Chrissy's clickbait. Now, have you watched Ted Lasso? I've not. You would love it. Is it really, like, happy, though? My family all love it, and I feel <sighs> like it sounds it's a little bit, like, go lucky happy for me. No, it's quite tender. Okay. It's a it's a it's a great show. All You'll right. love it. I'll give it a go. You will love it, and um, the 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 standout star and character that you will love is played by an actress called Hannah Waddingham. Yes, I do know of her. So she's in the news today because she was snapped on the red carpet, which is excruciating, by the way. <laughs> She looks amazing. She's turned up. She's frocked up. She's got ma- massive, gorgeous hair. And see if you can make out what she says when a photographer says, show us some leg. Oh, my God, you never say that to a man. Don't be a dick. Otherwise, I'll move on. Don't say show us some Okay, so she says, don't be a... Yeah. Otherwise, I'm out of here. Don't tell me, show me leg. You would never ask that of a man. Thoughts, concerns, Jack. I fully appreciate where she's coming from, Mm. but I have been on red carpets with friends that Mm. have slits in their dresses Mm. and it's designed to show a bit of leg. So I feel like if a photographer were to nicely say, hey, I just like... No, now that you're saying it... Yeah, now that I'm saying it out loud, it sounds wrong. But you... you, Thinking about if, like, Kylie Jenner or Kendall Jenner were on a red carpet, they're like, show me some leg. I can imagine Kylie Jenner fully just yes. showing some leg. Yes, but she she would, she would have up. done that already. Yeah, you're right. And I also think, like, read the room, mate. That's her choice. Kylie Jenner, if she wants to so- show some leg, she will put herself in that position and show her leg. If Hannah Waddingham or anyone else is not doing that, you don't ask them to do that. And it reminds me when she says you would never ask a man that. Do you remember I did a radio interview? And the first thing that was asked to me was, oh, you've lost so much weight. How many kilos is it? Mm. And I, in that split moment, I thought, do I people please? Do I just act like this is okay? And for the first time, and I've never looked back, I said, you can't ask me that. Yeah. You would never ask that of a man. It came out of my mouth. I remember. And it's still one of the proudest moments of my life Absolutely. that I thought quick because usually in those situations, it's two days later when you're in the shower and you think of something amazing to say. Correct. And especially in a live interview, you don't want to like rock the boat or no. cause sort of hostility. But in a situation like that, you absolutely thought, did the right thing. Yeah, it just really shocked me. And I'm, I'm glad I st- stood up for myself and I'm glad Hannah Wadding- Waddingham has stood yeah. up for herself. Now, it's creepy. we've got an update. Uh, someone has walked off the block already two weeks into filming. I can't wait for the new season, of course. And we were talking about Marty Fox, who is the new kid on the block, quite yeah. literally. And I was saying that Philip Island's got a lot of flies. Yes. Well, I reached out to him yesterday. As I said, we're sort of buddies on Insta. And he said, seven weeks and haven't seen a fly yet. So they've been shooting for seven weeks. So that means the Daily Mail article was wrong. Someone's walked out after seven weeks as ah, well. What? The Daily Mail got it wrong? <laughs> Sorry, what? What? <laughs> this is the Chrissy Swan Show.
Yes. We have got a bum bag to give away and it's not just any old bum bag. No, there are tickets to your friend and ours, Tones and I, in there. Tones and I. We really need to get Tones and I on this show. We really do. Because What's going on? We talk about her a lot. We do. But we've never actually met her or chatted to her. The, 13- first, the first question I would ask her <laughs> is, know. are you going to use the money from your next tour to buy... Another house in Frankston. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. It's Tones and I bum bag time. Chrissy's Quizzy. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a bum bag with <laughs> Tones and I tickets in them? Emma? Hey, Chrissy. I'm back again. Good on you. A little carryover champion. I love this for you. But I didn't, I wasn't the champion and I got in trouble by all my kids. <laughs> well, you're a carryover contestant. Loser. <laughs> you're a carryover loser. Aren't we all, Emma? Let's see. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's see if you have better luck today. Uh, against Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, how are you? Good. Are you excited about the opportunity to go and see Australian music legend Tones and I? Yes, I couldn't get tickets and my kids are devastated. Oh, no. God, see, now I'm torn. Emma and Sarah, I want you both to go. I'm very <laughs> pleased that the great Tony has sold out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's a really big deal. Good on you, Tony. All and right, I. let's get cracking. Your names are your buzzers, girls. It's the best of five, meaning the first person to get three answers correct wins the game and goes to see... Tones and I. Question number one. Name the pop star Tones and I recently Emma. support. Yes, Emma. Yeah. Pink. Pink, correct. You're on the board, Emma. Question number two. <laughs> Jack's <Okay>. Hall pass. <laughs> Shut up. Question number two. <laughs> Bitumen is used to make what? Emma. Yes, Emma? Roads. Correct. Emma, you, you are so close but still so far. It is not over. <laughs> question number three. It is a tones and I question. Name this song. Emma. Yes, Emma, for the win. Um, Johnny Runaway? Yes! 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 Oh, my God! The return of Mystic Chrissy. I knew that you would be a champion today, Emma. (laughs) Have you you redeemed yourself? You're not a total loser in the eyes of your children now? Darcy, is Mummy good now? Yes. (laughs) <laughs> good. <laughs> Mummy we love good. that. Tones and I is uh, presenting her highly anticipated headline to a live across Australia this August and September. Don't miss fan faves Dance Monkey, Fly Away, Never Seen the Rain and many more. Visit livenation.com.au. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. What are those dolts at Tones? It is the gorgeous Joel Creasy. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, this was just playing at the gym when I was there before. Any Had to drop in that I was at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're looking very well in your in your company merch. I'm in company merch because I just had a... um. Actually, oh, did you get that from my office? You did. I did. Well, last time I came on your show, you gave me a jumper, so I'm doing pretty I well did. every time I come on this show. Yeah. Um, no, I... um. Oh, do you want to... No, it's been wanky. I just had a nice bath. I'm a bit cold still. That's not wanky. Everybody's doing it's it. It's so good. I love them. I'm We've just been not... meaning to talk about we this have. with Joel. We will get on to your current show. Oh, yes. That is, uh, and running for 4,000 years. International Melbourne Comedy Festival. But let's just quickly talk ice baths. Yeah, what do you want to know? It's great for your skin. If that, like, if it's great for your body and and it gives you a huge dopamine rush, but if you're like, if you're also just wanting to do it for like vanity reasons, it's great. They are as good a reason as any. Right. My question to you is, Mm -hmm. I will die. No, you won't. Yes, I will because I'm always cold, Joel. Like I was just on the Gold Coast. It was 27 degrees. It was 27 degrees, and I went into the water up to my calves, (laughs) and then I had to turn around and. The disappointment on my daughter's face going, Oh, is it too cold for you? I said, It's too cold for you. Wow. How does Peg go? Great. <laughs> She's like, my kids are like seals. It They're might. out there in their black rashies. The ice bath could also help your wrists. You've got a bad wrist. Oh, yeah. Do you want to just get a little cold bowl of ice and put, 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 your, hand, <laughs> put your hand in there? A grandma's ice bath. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that is not a bad invention. <laughs> yeah. Because no. do you remember in the 80s and 90s, everyone was buying those stupid foot spas for mothers? Yes. Oh, my God. I think I've got one. <laughs> Maybe that's a new use. Yeah. You could... Get your foot spa out of the garage and fill it with ice. <laughs> fill it with the ice. The mum spa. The mum spa. Onto your show. Boom! 
Boom! Yes, I've been running. So the Melbourne Comedy F- Comedy Festival goes on for so long. Yes. And it's the final week. I'm off to Sydney, Perth, Brisbane, Margaret River, oh. um, Wollongong after. But this is the final week of the Comedy Festival and I'm full tonight. I'm full on the weekend. But you know you know me. Hmm. I, I can't rest until I've got a full house. So I thought I'd come in and give you a little special. I love it. Because you and I concocted the end of my show. Mm-hmm. I end my show... Taylor Swift's Eras tour went for three and a half hours. Yeah. This is my Eras tour. And Chrissy gave me all the songs so I can maybe slash definitely perform the Eras tour in three and a half minutes at the end of the show. Now, I love this. And I was the official curator. Yeah, okay. He was like, what should I, what do I need? What do I need? And I was uncharacteristically ungenerous with an item of clothing that I you, have. Yeah, but I understand. Because last time you were here, I literally gave you the shirt off my back. You did. <laughs> you you, did, you did. said you liked you my jumper. naked. It was That's wild. Right. And I gave it to you. And you said to me, that tinsel jacket, can I, where did you get it? And I said, oh, look, I, I, I flew it in from, I know. you know, New Orleans. Is that the karma? The yes. jacket she wears when she's singing karma? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I love it so much and I will never wear it again. When am I ever going to wear that again? <laughs> But I just thought if I lend it to you, <laughs> what if it's ruined? It will be ruined because I wear it every night on stage. So I got I got a similar jacket from a website like Alibaba or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um and I, I get two dancers from the audience every night to help me finish. Oh, oh my god! god. Can I, tell you this? I need to see. Wait, I thought they were like pre-organized no, dances. No, new, new dances every night. Wow. Harry Connick Jr.'s daughter came to my show the other night. She was one of the, she well, got up, and not only Harry Connick Jr.'s daughter, the daughter of the great model Jill Island. Oh my! Well, she was gorgeous, Kate Connick, and she was one of the dancers. <gasps> Epic, and she was gorgeous, but probably one of the worst dancers of the, <laughs> the crowd, the whole room. Okay, wow. comedyfestival.com.au. Jump online, and Joel, you've given us a code. Oh my god, I've got full Taylor to Swift. Yes, if you want to get two for one tickets for Wednesday or Thursday, because I get it. It's Melbourne on a Wednesday and Thursday. It's cold and rainy. Joel's bestie, B J O E L S B E S T I E. Joel's bestie. Put in promotional code two for one, baby. And don't tell anyone you're getting two for one, and then take the money off K. Yes. I want to meet her at the front of the show. Comedyfestival.com.au. The Creasy Swan Show. We are here with Joel Creasy. Thank you so much for sticking around. Oh well, I've, I've got to. I've got to for the next couple of hours. In fact. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yesterday we had the gorgeous Josh Thomas uh, oh, on my the show. Gosh, my doppelganger. He well, <laughs> yes, that is exactly what he talked about and I want you to have a listen. Oh, everyone keeps thinking I'm Joel Creasy these days. You know, yeah. I left the, I moved overseas for 6 years and now everyone keeps coming up to me and they keep saying are you Joel Creasy? He's so famous now. And then I thought, oh, this is so nice because if you think I'm Joe Creasy, I don't need to stop and be polite. So, <laughs> just be sassy. so what I've been doing all over town is people have been coming up to me and saying, you're Joe Creasy. And I've been so rude to them and just left. <laughs> oh, what a piece of work. What a piece of work. I do say at the end of my show as payback, I say, if you enjoy the show, I've been Joe Creasy. If you had it, I've been Josh Thomas. Oh, <laughs> I love we it. We are friends. Bang. We're good friends. When he said that, I thought, I wonder if Joel has noticed a dip in adoration, <laughs> like, is all of this kind of skullduggery that Josh Thomas is undertaking affecting your reputation among oh, the people? Josh, you, you, you bitch. <laughs> no, um, no, because I, 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 I stop and talk to people. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. love it. He also said that he hates Padam Padam, so he really <sighs> went down he my He told box. me that at the gala. Yeah. So at the gala, he went on first and I was on, I was on last. So yeah. he finished his spot. He was all relaxed mm. and was hanging out backstage. And then he told me, he hated Padam Padam, and we, then that kind of threw me. Like, was he trying to suck me yeah. out? Yeah. I feel like maybe, you know, Josh saying that he doesn't like Padam Padam is the same as Courtney Love saying that she doesn't like Taylor Swift. I saw that. It's like... You don't have to hate something that everybody loves just for the sake, <laughs> right. just for the sake of it, okay. you know? I know, to be cool. But what? I do believe Josh Thomas. Yeah. Oh, know? I absolutely believe Josh Thomas. Whilst we're doing our little, like, Chrissy and her gaze sort of vibe, yeah. can yeah. we please talk about the Real Housewives of oh Beverly Hills, Joel? Because I'm... big news today, Crystal has left the show. I'm devastated. I'm oh, no, what? I'm devastated. Tom she is sucks. applauding. What, what, no, tell me, no, 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 tell no, me no, about no. Crystal. She's the most mundane, no, boring not. housewife she's in Beverly not, Hills history. She's not, though. She's... This is why I like her. She ticks all the housewives boxes. What? She's rich. She's r- married to Rob um, Minkoff, who wrote Lion King. 
Um, oh. She's got all these celebrity friends, and I think she started to find her voice in the last season. Because she panicked and knew she was going to get sacked, so she tried to stir the pot. It wasn't I natural. Like I've never watched this show, Beverly but I Hills, have yeah. watched the, the Melbourne, Melbourne one, obviously. Yeah, I know yeah, yeah. it inside and out. The insignificant ass, ass hair. hair. <laughs> Can you give me yes. uh, an equivalent of who this person would be in the Melbourne Housewives? Oh, no. Susie, okay. Susie McLean. Susie McLean. <laughs> It's, you've got to admit, it's yeah, Susie it McLean. Susie. Oh, yeah. see ya. <laughs> no, she was more fab. Oh, I, love, no, I feel bad because I love Susie. But no. um, who would you like to see join the Beverly Hills well, cast? Well, have you seen the rumour? Well, there's the rumour about Sarah Michelle Gellar, but there's also... <gasps> Buffy? The ru- yeah, Buffy. That but that's, be I think that's a bit beneath her. But... Hilaria Baldwin is apparently... <gasps> okay, so if you do not know the name Hilaria Baldwin, you must Google it immediately. Well, she's a staple of your show. I listen to you two talk about her all the time. She's, she's married heaven. to Alec Baldwin. She has 7,000 children. <laughs> and despite her birth certificate saying her name is Hillary and she was born <laughs> just north just north of Boston, she speaks like this, sir. Uh, how you say uh, in uh, Espanol? Yeah. I mean... How does she live with herself? She's bonkers. So she'd be perfect, she'd be perfect. for Housewives. Oh, God, I've got everything crossed. Go. I, will, I will watch that show if she's on it. Oh, Go yeah, and see Joel party. in his show, Boom. Visit comedyfestival.com.au and the code you want to use is Joel's Bestie. For, yeah. What is it? Cheap tickets or two? Cheap for tickets for two for one for two Wednesday, for Thursday. One. This week, for the, week the, best. the Chrissy Swan Show. I love this competition. For the first time down under, US country music superstar. Hey, this is Chris Stapleton. Bringing his all American road show to arenas across Australia in February and March 2025. Tickets on sale now. Info at livenation.com.au. If you. Oh, I do it every time. Chrissy's Tennessee Risky. Tennessee Risky. If you are not across Chris Stapleton, you simply must. Am I right, Lisa? Oh, absolutely. He's just the best. He's just the best. How long have you loved him for? Um. Oh, gosh, years. I feel like I was a bit of a, a loner of being a Chris Stapleton fan. Now everybody's jumped on board. It's awesome. Well, you are in the right place, my love. You are going to play a round of Tennessee Risky, which is, of course, a play on words of one of his biggest songs. What are you willing to risk to see Chris Stapleton in Nashville? Uh, I would risk not eating chocolate for the rest of the year. I mean, this is big. This is big. Having said that, Easter is just over, and I'm guessing you, like everybody else, has eaten far too much chocolate, so it's not that risky to give it away, Lisa. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, too much. This is how it's going to work. We're going to list two songs, and you just got to tell us which one of them is a Chris Stapleton song. If you get okay. it right, we are going to give you tickets to the Australian show, and you'll be in the running to find out on Friday if you are headed to Nashville. Oh, awesome. I mean, you'd get to see him twice, Lisa. I mean... I know. Oof. Epic. <laughs> yeah, All right. Awesome. Swanee is going to give you two titles. I'm going to start a timer, and you've got to be really quick to tell us which one is the actual title. Yep. Ready? Yep. Your song titles, Lisa, are Starting Over and... Starting ye- Over. Oh! <laughs> She's already I bloody even get it out. <laughs> Well, you are going to go and see your main man, Chris Stapleton, and Yay! keep your phone on on Friday, Lisa. We might be calling oh you. Awesome. The Chrissy Swan Show. For the last time today, Chrissy's Clickbait. I am torn. I am torn because Courtney Love. Oh, I thought you were about to sing Natalie and Brulee or something. No, no. Courtney Love is um, an icon from my time. She was the lead singer of Hole. She was married to Kurt Cobain. I mean, she was one of the most interesting people ever. It's bad, but I didn't know who she was. <gasps> I know. I'm Don't gonna you know Malibu playing. by Hole? No. Oh, my God. Let Play me it. search it and find it. You're going to love it. Malibu I'm by excited Hole. Here it is. for you. You know what to do. Yeah, cool. No, I, I mean, didn't know this. It's sort of Miley esque, don't it you is. think? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Just enjoy it a little bit more. So that's off an album called Celebrity Skin, and right. I recommend it. You should. That's your homework. Listen to Celebrity Skin. Absolutely. It sounds like a song that belongs on Veronica Mars, a TV series in the oh early my God, 2000s. It so does. Anyway. It so does. Well, she has come out and said 
that Taylor Swift is not important. Ooh. And that she positively hates the idea of Taylor Swift. She says she might be a safe space for girls and she's probably the Madonna of now, but she's not interesting as an artist. And I, I mean, I could not disagree more. That's the biggest sweeping statement I've ever heard. She's not interesting as an artist. I actually, I completely disagree with Courtney Love and obviously Taylor is interesting and she's huge, but I kind of love that she has the bravery and balls to come out and say that. Yeah, I, I know <laughs> what you mean, but sometimes when people say things like that, don't you think... Oh, are you just being subversive for the sake of it? Are you just one of those people that don't like people that everybody likes? I think she might be. And she looks like a kind of, I mean, I don't know her like you do, but she looks like a kind of cool chick that would take that route. Oh, she just was. To piss people oh off. my God, she has led the most crazy, dangerous life. So it doesn't surprise me that someone as wholesome as Taylor Swift is of no interest to Courtney Love. Not I her get it. vibe. Speaking of Taylor, we did mention at the start of this show yeah. that we were going to talk about Taylor and Trav rocking out to Dom Dollar at Coachella. Okay, so this footage, you sent it to me today. Mm. They are at Coachella. She is standing in front of him. He is standing behind her. They are sort of being affectionate. There's a lot of PDA going on. A lot. And I pinch zoomed into it because it looks like she's under the influence. I mean, I don't know if I can say this, but there's this, this thing called rollbacks, which sometimes happens when you're a bit lit, when your eyes sort of... Anyway, I just think I'm just going to put that out there. So it's like a, a rollback <laughs> is like when she's rolling into a lovely boyfriend and yeah. I don't know, I feel <laughs> like... Tay's vibing. What is going on with her? Also, love that she's getting around an Australian DJ like Dom Dollar. Yes. That's cool. She's re- She looks to be enjoying herself. Mm, what, what? Anyway, three more sleeps until the new album. Yes. I don't want to give away too much, but I do think that you want to be listening to this show on Friday. That's all I'm going to say. I agree. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.